Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, uh, I was requested that I test this and I didn't think to test it yesterday when I was doing this whole tracking ability on this Weeble 2. The crows are gonna come and get me. So what I'm doing is I'm checking to see if the tracking will lose me if I either one, move too fast and get out of frame to see if it picks me up right away, or to see if I go like behind a tree. Granted, this isn't the biggest tree in the world, but it's what I've got. So let's check this out. Okay, I'm definitely getting off frame and it's catching me. So let's, let's check out the tree thing. Plus I'm getting further away than I ever have before. Now, it definitely lost me behind the tree. Let's try it again. And these crows are like stalking me. So there I am again. It does a good job of keeping up with me, but, and I don't know if this is because I'm so far away or if it's just because I went behind the tree. Okay, so it's still tracking me even though I went behind the tree But if I stay behind the tree, it loses me. All right, so I st stood behind the tree. I counted one, two, three. So a quick count and it lost me. So as long as I don't stay behind the tree, it continues to track me. So I can walk back and forth and I'm probably, I'm gonna go 10 feet away and it's still tracking me. So that's pretty cool. I don't have a tape measure on me and I'm not gonna go back in and get one, but let's just see how far away I can get. I don't know, probably 15 feet. It's still keeping me. 20 feet, still tracking. Okay, so I'd say it's a pretty good bet that, that you can be a good 20 feet away. It still tracks. You can walk past objects that go in between you and the camera and it still tracks you, but you can't stay behind them for any length of time. And, and again, I've run off the screen and it's still, finds me, keeps a hold of me somewhat, um, probably because it catches up pretty fast. Again, I do have it set to zero, which means that's the fastest. So I would bet that if I turned it down, well, let's just do that. Now I have it on five, which is the slowest. So you can see how I'm almost off screen before it even catches up to me. Okay, yeah, see? right off the bat. As soon as I went off screen, it lost me. But as soon as I walked back on screen, what's funny is the, the box is back on me, but it's not tracking me. Yep. <clears throat> so that's kind of weird. The, literally the box is still drawn around me, but it isn't, it isn't following me now. So let's just cancel it. Okay, now it's back on. Okay, my suggestion, you do the smart tracking, you keep the speed at zero, which is the fastest, and you slow your ass down so that you're staying within the screen so that it keeps tracking you. If you're gonna walk around something that's gonna between, be between you and the camera, don't linger, get around it pretty quick. Uh, again, I did a, a fast count, a one, two, three, and in that time it lost me and didn't pick me back up. But I still can't figure out why when I had it on the five setting and I went off cam 
and then came back on cam, the box still picked me up, but it stopped tracking me. So, I don't know. I don't plan on running around in circles trying to get away from the camera and all that stuff, but there you go. All right, I w just went and got uh, Bean at three ships and a cookie, so I'm gonna go in and enjoy it. We'll be right back. All right, so I did manage to just beat the rain before I did that, that gimbal test with the smart tracking and running around like an idiot out in my yard. I'm sure my neighbors were like, what kind of crack is that guy on? They're probably not wondering that. I've been like that the entire time I've lived there. Anywho, so right now I'm actually heading to the chiropractor. I had a pretty skull splitting headache all, my, all last night. I don't even know how I slept. Uh, every time I woke up, I like my head was just pounding. Don't know what that's all about, but I don't like it. It's been a crazy couple of weeks with the number of things that have been released out into the wild. Now, I've got, I've got a six-year-old MacBook Pro that has a bulging battery, so much so that it bent the chassis and you can't close the screen all the way. So it freaks me out in general that I think that it's going to just continue to expand and explode someday. I took it to the Genie's Bar. They told me it, it is not in danger of that, that it should be done expanding, but it was going to cost me 300 bucks to have it fixed. And they were basically going to have to replace everything, like all the internals, the case, everything, because it got so, it, it like bent everything. And I thought, I'm not pissing away $300 for a six-year-old computer. I'd rather put that $300 towards a new computer. That being said, now they released the new MacBook Pros and you know, I mean, six years with that computer, I think it's time to replace it. So I want the new MacBook Pro. Okay, then they freaking released the Sony a7 IV, which I really like. And I think would be a great addition to what I've got now. I, there's no way that I could buy that camera without selling the other ones. So if I did this, I'd have to sell my a7C, I'd have to sell both of my ZV-1s for it to make sense. I don't begrudge almost said Apple, Sony for raising the price by 500 bucks over the a7 III. The a7 III was an amazing camera. I'm sure that the a7 IV will be too. I don't care about all these people whining about the crop factor in 4K60. I don't ever shoot in that anyway, so I don't give a shit. Bottom line is, is be, it would be a good upgrade and, and a good second body that I would use mostly for filming. And, and it is pretty much designed with filming in, in mind, although rolling shutter, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. And so I'm telling you all this for a specific reason. I'm not buying jack shit. Now, the other thing is that I don't need the camera. Yes, it would be a great upgrade for me. Yes, it would produce wonderful pictures and produce wonderful video and all that kind of stuff, but I don't need it. All of the things that it upgrades are things that I don't need for what I do. Basically, I don't need that camera. I actually like my a7C. I've got a pretty good flow going with that. It works perfectly with the Weeble too that I have now and that, that I have continued to learn how to use properly. So I don't need another camera. When I started looking through all of the MacBook Airs and watching all the videos on the new MacBook Pro and all that kind of stuff, I mean, when I bought that MacBook Pro before in 2015, like, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. You know, I just wanted a new laptop, but you know, that shit's expensive. So I ended up getting a, like, a, it was a 2015 with the 13 inch Retina Pro screen, eight gigs of RAM and a 256 hard drive. And it suited its purposes. So when I spec'd out what I wanted for the MacBook Pro, the new one, I decided that it was gonna be the, uh, the M1X. I'm gonna go big because I'm gonna keep it for a long time. I mean, I had the last one for six years, you know, before it all but blew up, literally. So, you know, I thought, okay, I'll just, I'll spec it out and, and you know, I'll future-proof myself and, and do what I gotta do. And decided that I'm not doing that either. What's, what's the central message of what I'm trying to say is that you don't have to have the newest camera. You don't have to have the highest spec computer. You don't have to have, you know, this, that, and the other thing. You can learn how to make do with what you got. I'm not kidding you. In the past two weeks, three weeks, there's just been so many unbelievable things coming out. You know, these awesome pieces of, of technology 
that, hell yeah, I would love to have them. But when it gets right down to it, I pretty much already have almost everything I want, with the exception of that 70 to 200 that I shouldn't have sold and I won't sell if I get it again. And I can go out there and I can create cool stuff. So, off my soapbox. Don't go out and buy a bunch of shit you don't need just because somebody tells you that you need it or because it's new and it's cool and you want to be able to have a flex and tell everybody that you got all the newest shit. So that's all I've got for you. Nothing exciting. I just wanted to show you the test of the, of the gimbal and, and me running around like an idiot in my yard. And I just sort of wanted to talk about uh, gear acquisition syndrome, <laughs> which is basically what I was blathering on about, you know, of having to buy the next latest, greatest thing. Use the shit you got. Learn how to use it well. All right, that's it. That's all I've got for you. Leave any comments, questions, suggestions down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.